nothing really says I love you like me apologizing after defending your honor. Who asked for this shit? So how you slap somebody so hard, you end up with a concussion? How about you take a page out of your book and keep my family's name out your fucking mouth? I'm bringing Petty back. Ranch with Ant, damn it. So six months after slapping Chris Rock, Will Smith decides he wants to release his official apology. Now this apology, which nobody asked for, was posted to his YouTube and Instagram pages. Will started off by saying he reached out to Chris Rock immediately following the slap, but Chris Rock was not willing to talk or accept his apology. Like, fuck you thought. Yo, you don't get to smack me on national television and then call and try to talk it out. Fuck is wrong with you? At the least, you owe me five minutes. Gotta shoot the fate, without a question. You got me out here looking soft in front of all these white people. That ain't cool, bruh. But for real though, Chris was out here looking like a lost slave after he got slapped, standing on stage like. And yo, you don't get to apologize to my mom and my brother online or ever. Like I'm bringing Petty back. How about you take a page out of your book and keep my family's name out your fucking mouth? How about that? Don't get me wrong, Will. I respect the vulnerability and I admire your transparency. But you're going to get these jokes, big dog. It's too late for apologies. Who asked for this shit? Will said the reason he didn't acknowledge the slap during his speech was because in the moment, everything was fuzzy. So hold up. So how you slap somebody so hard, you end up with a concussion? Shit don't make no damn sense. Contrary to popular concussion, Will said that Jada's reaction had nothing to do with him going up there slapping Chris Rock. And Will thought that no part of him handled this maturely at all. And then he went and apologized to Jada. I guess because nothing really says I love you like me apologizing after defending your honor. I don't like how they got my boy out here looking like a cuck. This ain't a good look for Will. Sidebar. All jokes aside, on some real shit like this did spark great conversation, especially in the era of protect black women and what that sounds like and looks like. A third of the people were behind. They stood up behind Will Smith, said that, that what he did was honorable. Then you had another third who thought what he did was disgusting. And then you had some who just did not know where they were standing. All in all though, nothing good came out of this. I mean, it started out good, but then it just ended up ugly. Nobody wanna say it, but that apology video, it's giving ISIS hostage vibes. Is someone on the other side of that camera holding a gun, making Will read off some index cards? Hold up. Jada, Jada, is that you? Is that you back there? Did Will Smith ever apologize to Questlove? Cause that was Questlove moment. Like Chris Rock was up there presenting an award to Questlove and Will came and just stepped all on his moment. Will Smith acknowledges that one of his triggers is disappointing people. Like he needs your approval. Wait a minute. So to say that Jada had nothing to do with your decision to slap Chris Rock because Chris Rock made a joke without having prior knowledge, allegedly, about Jada's alopecia situation? Am I, read am I reading that correct? I ain't trying to be labeled one of them phobics, but it's really screaming ISIS hostage vibes, man. Like, my bad over here looking real crazy. Let's not forget back in 2016, Jada called out Chris Rock for hosting the Oscars when they had the whole Oscars so white situation going on. Wasn't nobody outside protesting the Oscars, but this was also in the time that if it didn't happen online, did it really happen? Fast forward, 2022. Now Will Smith is about to get his Oscar, his first. Judging by them tears, definitely his first. That's his first, yeah. I guess the Oscars ain't so white no more, huh? I'm just saying, bro. Like, if y'all were protesting six years ago and now it's like, all right, we're going to give you an award now. I don't know. I ain't got no Oscar, so what the fuck do I know? He got this Oscar for what? His role, King Richard. And if you don't know what King Richard is, do your Googles. You don't want to be labeled a phobic. All in all, what I learned here is that we're all one bad joke away from slapping the shit out of somebody. The way that the world's going, gas prices up and down, inflation's everywhere. It's like, one sad joke. Wasn't really that funny. You just laughed too hard. Your wife got upset. You go on stage, slap the man. Now you're banned for 10 years. I saw you, Will. We saw you, Will. We saw what you did. So when you say that Jada's reaction had nothing to do with your decision, I call bullshit. Like, yo, just roll the tape, big dog. Ranch with Ant, damn it.